Yo, what's good guys, it's Relish. Today I'm gonna be doing a video on Ableton keyboard shortcuts because I find them really useful in just keyboard shortcuts in general. Like if you don't know FL Studio or Ableton 10 keyboard shortcuts, I would definitely recommend that you learn them because it definitely speeds up your workflow. I do know a lot of the Ableton 10 ones, so I'm gonna make a video on that and eventually I'll do an FL Studio one when I get more comfortable. But yeah, I'm just gonna be going over the ones that I use on a daily basis. Obviously there's a ton more and uh, if you wanna look at those, then read the manual or just watch another video that goes over all of them but i'm not trying to make this video like 20 minutes so yeah i'm just gonna get straight into it if you're new to the channel just make sure to like and subscribe and yeah all right so getting into it i'm just gonna go over the single key keyboard shortcuts because um those are obviously the easiest and the most used the first one is obviously tab and tab alternates between session view and uh arrangement view and i'm gonna be real with you i really almost never use session view um unless i'm checking levels at the bottom because you can you know make this really I don't know why you can't stretch this out even farther. I feel like I was able to before, but yeah, I usually only check the levels in here and I'm always in arrangement mode uh, because I, I don't know, that's just how I like to work. Usually people use session view for like live sound and stuff like that, but yeah. The next one is toggling automation and all you have to do is hit A and you can see these things come up. If you're using anything lower than Ableton 10, the automation will automatically show up. You don't have to press the keyboard shortcut, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And I just wanna make a note that if that keyboard shortcut isn't working, you probably have the MIDI keyboard shortcut on, which is M, and it basically just turns your uh, keyboard into a MIDI keyboard. So I'm using my mechanical keyboard right now and I just hit M, and if you hear, so I'm using my mechanical keyboard as a MIDI keyboard, and that's just by hitting M. And uh, if I try to hit A with it on, it just plays a note. <laughs> so yeah. The next one is to deactivate and activate things, and that is just to hit zero. And you can do that with clips, you can do that with tracks, and it'll mute it. And then you can also disable and enable plugins. So yeah, that's kind of cool too. After that, there's R, and that basically takes a audio track and it'll reverse it. So if I hit R on this, It'll reverse it and you'll hear. Yeah, as you can hear, it just reverses it. Some other cool tricks is holding down control while you're on a clip and it basically just duplicates it. And uh, yeah, it's super handy. And another great keyboard shortcut is holding down shift and going on one of the sides of a clip and you can shrink or um, expand it. And that's really nice, but you have to have warp on. So just keep that in mind. Next is hitting S to collapse everything. So if you have a really big project like I do sometimes, um, hitting S will be really nice because it really condenses everything. And then you can pick and choose whichever tracks you want um, fully available or whatever. After that, um, there is zoom. And basically all you have to do is um, select, make a selection and then hit Z and it'll zoom into that little selection. If you wanna zoom out, you can hit minus or plus. And yeah, it's kinda nice. But typically I don't do that. What I do is I hold down control and I scroll and it kind of zooms in and out, it's really nice. And that's pretty much it for all the single keys. Another thing I would like to recommend is when you're in piano roll, if you hit control A, it'll select it all obviously. And if you hold down shift and hit the up or down arrow key, it'll basically move it up or down an octave, which I use quite frequently. And another thing you can do is you can do um, left and right while you're holding down shift and it'll basically make these um, smaller or larger, depending on how you have your grid set. So now that I'm done with the single key keyboard shortcuts, I'm gonna go over the two key keyboard shortcuts. That is such a tongue twister. But yeah, the first one is going into preferences and all you have to do is hold down control and comma and it'll basically hold, um, show up preferences. And if you don't wanna do this, then you can obviously just go to options and preferences, which really isn't that much slower, but it's kind of nice to just be able to do that um, off the bat. The next thing is holding down shift and space. And that is basically to play from wherever the playhead is instead of starting over. So if I play from the beginning, and then I hit stop, and then I play again, it'll start from the beginning again. But if I stop and I hold down control space, it'll start from where the playhead was left off. So it's kind of nice. After that, it is control Z and control Y. Control Z is to undo and control Y is to redo. The next one after that is splitting and all you have to do is make a selection and hit control E and it'll split whatever you have into multiple pieces. Um, so yeah, and if you wanna redo that or um, consolidate things together, um, you can just hold down control J and it'll consolidate it all into one. And that is also one that I use pretty frequently. Another great one is uh, duplicating and all you have to do is hold down control and D and it'll duplicate it as many times as you want. 
Another thing you can do is make a selection and hold down control L and it'll loop it. And then if you want to um, toggle it off, you can also hit control L and it'll turn, it'll turn it off. Another great one is uh, grouping, which obviously you can see I'm doing all the time. And if you wanted to group all those, cause you can do groups within groups, you can hit down control and G and it'll turn it into a group of a group of a group, a group section. Another really cool trick is uh, control I and it basically inserts time. All you need to do is hit control I and you can choose however many bars you want or you can make a selection. So say I want it um, eight or 16 bars or whatever, make the selection and hit control I and then it'll make a uh, open selection for you for you to use. After that would be control one, two, three, and four. Control one basically makes the grid smaller as you can see. Control two makes it larger. And then control three turns it into triplets. And then control four just turns it off completely. So you'd be completely off the grid. And the very last one is control U. And that basically is quantizing. And this is already quantized, but if you hold down control U when you have it all selected, it'll uh, put it to what, whatever closest grid you have. Or another thing you can do is you can hold down control shift and U and you can choose which grid you want it without changing the grid size in the piano roll or the arrangement view or whatever. And the last one for the two key keyboard shortcuts is going to be control T, which is to create a track. And uh, yeah, it creates an audio track. So yeah, to create a MIDI track, you would have to hit control shift T, um, which is a three key keyboard shortcut, which is what I'm going to be going over next. So yeah. And getting into the three key keyboard shortcuts, there's really not a lot of them. Um, the first one is going to be um, deleting time. And basically all you have to do is basically say I'm working on this and I don't like the break section right here. I can just make this selection and I can hit control shift and delete. And it'll just completely like remove it um, and uh, condense everything together. And it'll remove all the automation and everything that you did as well. So yeah, it's really nice. And you can also do the opposite. Like if you want to add a break or something like that after this, you can uh, hit control and copy this. And then you can hit control shift V and it'll basically like make space for it. It's basically like control I, but you can take all the elements that you have and then make space out of it, if that makes sense. And the last and final one is um, control shift R. And that basically is a render, um, just export to audio. All you have to do is go to file, export audio video, and then there you have it. But um, I definitely use this one a lot just because what I do is I'll make a loop point of the whole track, select it all, and then control shift R, and then you can do, you know, whatever you want. You can, you know, you could do stems or like export individual tracks or, you know, however you like. But yeah, those are the main ones that I use on a daily basis. So yeah, hopefully you Ableton guys got something out of this, unless you're like a bigger guru than I am and you know like way more than this, uh, in which case, cool. But yeah, uh, that's all I got for today. I'm going to have more content coming in the next two days. And uh, yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.